This is a HeadGum Podcast. <laughs> you are really sipping that coffee. I'm really enjoying my coffee today. <laughs> it has the, what is this fucking... It's mint chocolate... Coconut Soy milk. milk. No, coconut. Whatever the hell it is. <laughs> it's really good. It's that So Delicious brand that we talked about, the eggnog version. Yeah. I don't know Yo, if they should about sponsor the us, honestly. Honestly, hit us up, guys. We're here. <laughs> We're not listening to this. Um, but it's really good. The mint chocolate version kind of tastes like... doesn't taste exactly like a Starbucks like peppermint mocha, but when I used to work at the Starbucks at Millersville, the We Proudly Brew... Yes. The one that was in the library that was like extremely different from yeah, Starbucks. Yeah, did not look like a Starbucks except for that one we proudly brew sign. <laughs> and it like, honestly though, in the cups, I guess. Yeah. But we used like a different brand of syrup as well. Like not Starbucks brand syrup. Yeah, it was really weird. And so this tastes like that version and mm. it like threw me back. <laughs> like, you know, when you like taste something and then you're like, holy shit, I haven't been here in a while. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, if out of all of the Starbucks locations that I worked in, that was my favorite one because I was at the library and I got to serve like professors and it wasn't just like stone teens that were like fucking yeah. asking for like Cheetos and I'm like I'm a barista like <laughs> I don't know what you want oh my god someone's got oh, a fucking squeezy. jingle ball. well uh, this is Coffee with Rachel I'm Rachel I'm Chris and I'm having a nostalgic afternoon I guess and I'm having tea because my stomach has been not enjoying the coffee as of late. So yeah, you've been extra acid. I have yeah. been extra. Let's just say I've been extra. <laughs> it's because you aren't having the dairy in your coffee anymore. Yeah, I really need to try that other creamer because I'm not totally sold on the coconut milk myself yet either. Damn, like, I'm like in, but also I've been experiencing like more heartburn, and I don't get it. So like, I know that it's definitely. But I've been drinking less coffee yeah. because of it. Yeah. But I like the coconut milk. That's why, I like, I've been really like having probably too many more lattes than I should. Because, yeah, because they're really creamy. Yep, yeah, exactly. That's why we need to get ourselves a little milk frother, and I think that'll really step it Maybe all up. Maybe that could be Black Friday. Ooh. Yeah, I mean they're really cheap. Yeah, like the ones that don't heat it up. Yeah, they're like really cheap. But uh, anyway, what coffee are we having? Oh, yeah. So this is from Lauren, I believe. And yes. And she sent us a coffee like a little while ago. She actually sent us two. So this is the second one. So, hey, Lauren. <laughs> um, this is Detroit Bold Woodward Ave Fresh Roasted. I, I'm actually not sure what the blend is. You know what I mean? I think it's <laughs> yeah. just Detroit Bold. I mean, I had some. We had some the other oh, day, Oh, wait, too, no. We lied. I think Woodward Ave is the coffee flavor because Detroit Bold I guess is that's absolutely a, the brand. <laughs> I guess that's maybe a street in Detroit. Yeah. So, you know, I i don't live there, so I wouldn't know the uh, nuances to this. But uh, Detroit isn't co- just called the Motor City for nothing. See, I didn't know that. The Motor City. Oh, yeah. I feel like I don't know a lot of the... Uh, what are, what I mean, are these, I like, the mottos of states? Yeah, I didn't know that it was the Detroit, or, wow, the the Motor City. Like, I know there's, like, all the different auto companies there, but I didn't know What's Pennsylvania? Called. The Well, Keystone Pennsylvania city. is, yeah, and then, you know, Philly's city of brotherly love. And yeah, that one's cute. What's Pittsburgh? Like, hey. <laughs> Go Steelers. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know what they are. And, like, I have no Jersey's idea. the, uh. It's like the green garden, the garden state. The garden state, yeah. Are there a lot of gardens in Jersey? Who knows? Squeezy thinks so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's delish, but I'm not going to lie. All I'm tasting right now is this mint chocolate, so. <laughs> I'm just tasting black tea, so hey. Yeah, you know. But I had it before, and it was good when I had it before. Mm-hmm. We lied. This is not the first time we're having it right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> oh, by the way, we absolutely, it's like almost gone. <laughs> you know, it's fine. She was um, just in our, uh. What would what would you call it? The backlogs of coffee. Oh yeah, of exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a fact as well. Oh my God, Squeezy, Squeezy decides now he wants to be athletic. But anyway, the coffee fact is that do you athletic. take <laughs> do you take your coffee black with no sugar? Then your coffee is practically calorie free with just two to five calories per cup. Yeah, that's why I like coffee. It makes me shit, and I don't have to feel that bad about drinking it. Exactly. But then you get a latte, and you're like, ah. And you get the energy, too. That's another thing. You know? (laughs) Yeah, so it's all the extra shit we added to make it. I was actually just watching, I think it was Crash Course. 
And they did, like, a whole video about, like, why do you shit immediately after having your coffee in the morning? Yeah. And they just don't know. <laughs> like, there's, there's, like, theories, but no one's, like, done enough research on it yet, which is weird because that's, like, a phenomenon. And, mm-hmm. like, some people think it's just because, like, it's the first thing hitting your stomach in the morning or whatever, so it's But, I mean, it does that to me moving. no matter what fucking time of the day I have coffee, so. Yeah, like, if I've eaten any time before having coffee i could like have not eaten in like three days i drink a cup of coffee and then i feel like i have to shit like i don't know what it is i think it honestly it started getting that way like after i stopped working at starbucks starbucks really fucked me up i was drinking like so much coffee yeah like not human amounts i mean when i was working at the dining hall then i was drinking a lot of coffee then too Ugh, and that coffee was terrible you're telling me and i hated those mugs yeah they They were were always scratchy yeah (laughs) (laughs) They were. I just like whacked the mic with my mug. Oh my god. But anyway, oh my god, I have a fucking Gryffindor ass mug right now. Like that's not. Yeah, I decided not to give you the old sliv. Oh, so I have like a, like this is totally random, but I can never figure out what email I use for my Pottermore account. And I think I've like made like several accounts just because I wanted to get the right house. Yeah. (laughs) I think it should let you take it again. Like, come on. It's not fucking set in stone, bitch. I know. Like, why can't they just let you take it for fun? So I like finally figured it out, I guess, but it re, or no, I just like made a new account with a new uh, email. And it put me in Gryffindor this time. And it's like, that's a shock. I don't know what I did differently. (laughs) I think it's like, the question that keeps fucking me, I think, is when it's like, what animal would you take? Because I always choose a white cat because I just picture Lila coming with me. (laughs) And like, you could have Squeezy because, you know, you know, I don't know. I just think that would be a fun time. Mm Mm-hmm. So there was something else related to Harry Potter that we wanted to bring up. But before we do... What? (laughs) <laughs> I just wanted to say that, you know, everybody that signed up for the gift exchange, oh, yes. all of your emails have been sent. Everybody has their assignments. If you didn't get the email, maybe check your spam folders and stuff like that. I don't know why I would go there, but... It, some weirder things have happened. But yeah, all the assignments are there, and you should mail out your gifts by the end of your local day on the 5th. So that way... December hof- 5th. Yeah, December 5th. So that way, you know, hopefully we can't guarantee that it's going to show up by the time... The holidays You are, still don't like... have one of my anniversary gifts, like... <laughs> yeah, I know. Etsy's a gamble, bitch. If you're ordering from Etsy, I really suggest getting it, like, done. Now. Right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's just gonna... It takes a while. But yeah, so that's all signed up. We're gonna have a thread on the Reddit, so you can uh, share what gifts you've got if you want I, to. I, I got my assignment. I already know what I'm doing. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I know. We've been, we were like, we got our assignment. Because we got to like give each other our assignments or whatever. But yeah. Like, it just, you know, whatever. And so we're excited. We were like planning what we're going to do. And while going through making all the assignments. We learned a lot. We learned a lot. <laughs> and so we definitely think next year sometime we're going to do like basically like a census almost. Yeah. Like, like I was thinking about, you know how Hank Green does them for like the Vlogbrothers channel. And, yeah. yeah. I think I want to start doing it just because there's like some good information that we could learn to like figure out what we need to be doing differently, you know? Yeah. But and um, it was so funny. Like some of the things that you guys left in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> We've also found out that uh, there's another Rachel Whitehurst out there. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, my God. Okay, so a little while ago, Chris and I did this thing. It's like... We'll do it later on in the show, probably. Yeah. But it basically, it tells you, like, how many people are in the United States. It's the only... It should be the whole world. It's just based off of, like, state census. Yeah. Sensei? Sensei. Sensei. When's that coming back? (laughs) (laughs) But, like, honestly. Um, But anyway, it tells you, like, how many people in the United States have the same exact name as you. And so there were, like, we'll have to do it again. Yours was definitely, like, hundreds, if not a thousand. I don't remember. There was definitely hundreds of Chris Hubbards, but... There's only 19 Rachel Whitehursts, which I thought is, like, thinking about that, I'm like, we could all be in the same room together. Like, what if we... The the Rachel Whitehursts of the world. We all gather in a room and we, we <laughs> unite and we, I don't know, we do fuck something. shit up. I don't know what we're going to do. But one of those 19 also listens to this show, which crazy. is crazy, Fucking crazy. Are you the binge that has rachelwhitehurst.com? Are you a makeup artist, bitch? If that's you, listen. <laughs> we have been enemies this whole time. No, I'm just kidding. I doubt it. Because, like, I... 
whenever I wanted to like have a blog, you yeah. know, I try to get that domain and it turns out there's an actual makeup artist that like has done makeup for movies. I guess they can have it maybe. <laughs> yeah, so cool. They have like an IMDB account and that's what oh, you know. Oh shit. Okay, they're legit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Actually, I don't know what you have to do to get one of those. I don't know. I don't know. I should know that considering IMDB is owned by Amazon and yeah, yeah, well, you know. I should find that out. <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty cool. So, hello, Rachel Whitehurst, if you're listening. Ah, that's so weird. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, someone, like, added me on Twitter, and they were like, haha, I just found someone with my last name. And, like, it, they were, like, something Whitehurst, and I was like, oh, my God. Because, like, I've done that. I don't Google myself because, yikes, I'm sure it's not fun. But, like, yeah. when I'm on, I don't know, Facebook, I'll, like, type out my name. And then I'm like, what are the other ones doing? I know there's a lot of other Chris Hubbards on Facebook, which is wild because I don't really meet too many people with the last name of Hubbard. I don't, you're the first Hubbard I ever knew. Besides yeah. Old Mother Hubbard, the card game, what is that? Honestly? Yeah. Is it a card game? I don't know what is the it fuck a tale? it is. It's I don't a know. story. Is something? that part of your legacy? Legacy TM. <laughs> Not really. No? No. You never heard like lore about that? Do you know anything about like, the history of your family because I don't know shit I don't even know where like it's very fuzzy like where we're all even from like my dad's like Italian and also like English I don't fucking know we, yeah. we don't talk about shit European something or other yeah I don't know and then we're just Jews on my other side so it's like they could be from anywhere but uh, I there was like I don't know who got it but like my dad found like a, a like a family tree that was made in between the year of my sister and me being born, so I wasn't on it yet. But me at- as hell, <laughs> just don't add ruble to the family <laughs> tree, bitch. That's so funny. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know exactly too many exciting things. I just remember somebody saying that one of my like somebody on my dad's side was like a naval <laughs> yeah. commander or something like that, like and- belly button or like war. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> Joking. You said navel, get it? Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know shit. I, like, I remember this one time I was at my friend's house, and there's that show on some fucking, it's probably like TLC, where they dig into like celebrities' history of their yeah. ancestry, and it was the Josh Groban episode. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I don't fuck? fucks with Josh Groban, all right? You raise me up, you raise me down. Like, <laughs> she's done. But it was really fascinating, and I was like, how can I get to do this? <laughs> I, I, would, wanna, I would love to do something. I'm always like that. tempted to try ancestry.com. Because like, I want to know like what other gays are in my family. That's something that like because I can't think of one. I yeah. think I'm the only LGBT f- member, but it's like you also who's don't know very far into your extended family. Either. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anyone, and I know <laughs> we have like Holocaust survivors and shit. So like, Damn. I would love to know this shit. Yeah, especially on my mom's side. That would be fascinating. I know. So yeah. But uh, the thing we were going to say about Harry Potter oh, before, yeah. so uh, this is just one of Rubles, you know... Rubles! <laughs> like, noticing plot holes. Plot holes. <laughs> I'm not, like, looking, but it's just, like, maybe it's because I'm older reading this for the first time. Like, a lot of you guys were like, this is whimsical shit, I'm 12. Like, yeah. you know, so you weren't thinking about it, and, like, if you haven't read it in a while, you probably wouldn't think about these things. I don't know. Probably other people have brought this up. Yeah, I'm sure other people probably brought this up too, but... So, my thing is, alright, Peter Pettigrew, Marauder's Map. Why wouldn't Fred and George notice that, like, Peter Pettigrew was, like, in their fucking house the whole time? Like, his name would be on the map. Yeah. Like, in the fucking, what is it, the hatch? What the is burrow. it? The burrow. The <laughs> burrow. This is not lost. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, so that's my question. (laughs) JK, if you're listening, um, why'd you hire Johnny Depp and this? Please tell me. (laughs) I heard that he... We haven't seen... um, Fantastic Beasts yet. Yeah, we haven't found them yet. Nope. Because every fucking theater was, like, sold out. And I'm not sitting... we totally forgot to, like, get tickets. I'm not sitting, like, on the very far side. Like, I need good seats for a movie like this. Okay, like, I'm very particular about where I sit in the movie theater, which is why I typically like to go on, like... Tuesday afternoons when no one is fucking there because you get those seats. Like, I'm a kind of, not on the ground floor, like, especially if it's in a theater where it's, like, 
there's like a ground floor section and then there's like the little raised kind of risers area. Yeah, I get you. Like I hate that what's the theater that we have downtown that's like all that's flat? It's regal. Yeah, what the fuck? If someone tall sits in front of me or like someone with like a top knot or a beanie, I'm fucked. Yeah. It's so annoying. But if I'm like sitting in a theater Oh my god. Oh my god, God, Squeezy. He is, like, losing his shit today. (laughs) I don't know what's going on. But, like, if I'm sitting in a theater, I don't like to be on the ground section at all. Mm -hmm. I like to be lifted into the air (laughs) and, like, dead-ass center. Exactly. So we were... There's one theater that's in Seattle that only has, like, one theater in it. And, like, you can go online you can pick the individual seats. Which I love. I love... I would love to buy all my movie ticket seats, Where you like, pick assigned. Out the seat. yeah. yeah. I hate the stress of, like, you getting there and then having to, like, put coats down. And then you gotta, like, look at people when they come into your row and you're like, yeah, that coat is there. I hate yeah. that tension. It's like, I'm always that person, too. You're always the popcorn bitch and I'm always the seat hoarder. And, like, I don't like having the aggressive job. I would love... To never have to show up like a million hours early. Oh, I hate doing that. Just in time to see Regal first look, but just enough time for that. You know? I don't like to stand outside, but then you have to if it's like a midnight premiere. Exactly. I don't like doing that. So we haven't seen that yet, but plan to, hopefully. Yeah. I'm not enthusiastic about the 60 seconds of dip. Yeah. But you know, I don't know. I've heard it's fantastic otherwise. Yeah. So I actually haven't heard a lot about it yet. I've been. All I've just heard is that, like, good things. Good so, things. Yeah. So, there's been some things that have happened just in the world that are basically just Trump supporters being stupid, I'd say. I mean, that's just, yeah, it's happened a so lot. So, let's talk about, since we talked about Starbucks earlier, let's talk about the Starbucks protest. Oh, because, God. like, this happened... Leave baristas alone! This happened last year, like, and did nobody learn their lesson? Every like, year, these, like, Midwest hicks come in and they bother fucking minimum wage employees about like that have intricacies no that they have no influence over. Yeah. It's like thank god I'm not working there during this because I would probably like that's the thing like I would probably get fired just because like if someone came up to me and they were like Haha, write Trump loves pence on my cup I would probably roll my eyes and like you have to be polite because those types of people would be the type of people to like report you for like being a bitch or whatever yeah, that work. Yeah. and like if they're coming in and like making you feel uncomfortable on purpose like that's just so much pressure when baristas are already like under so much stress because people are seriously not fucking nice especially when they're waiting for their fucking stupid coffee like people are vish like yeah. vicious, viscosity. I, like, I want to know why the people that are supporting this are thinking that the best way to protest is to continually buy their product and post photos it. of it to spread more, like, brand awareness. Starbucks like, didn't, like, endorse Hillary, did they? Like, I don't I'm know. pretty sure they are just like, They've hey, we make coffee. <laughs> like, I'm just really confused why it's happening. It's like, are they trying to promote him more? He already won. Like, yeah, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, I don't understand. I mean, she, the votes just came in and she beat him by like, what is it? 1.5 million votes in the popular vote. Probably. I yeah, don't know exactly. Was, yeah, it was. I just looked at it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not. No. Um, so that's fucked up. Yeah. I don't understand that. Also, then, uh, Mike Pence went to see Hamilton oh, and God. I watched the speech that they gave at the end of the show and it was very nice and respectable speech. They didn't even have to do anything. Like, you know, oh my God, he asked them to apologize. Trump did. He said that like, the th- I can't believe he had the audacity to say that the theater should be a safe space. Yeah, when all of these people on his side are like, Haha, fuck your safe space. I'll write a swastika anywhere I want, bitch. Like, like, I can't believe that he would say that. Like, God forbid this one straight white dude doesn't have, like, gets told that what he's doing is fucking shitty as hell. Like, as if, like, Trump hasn't been booed before. Like, it wasn't even that bad. He got booed, and then they gave a little speech about diversity at the end, which they have every fucking right to. Yeah, it's like, their fucking free speech. It's, like, and... literally, have they not, like, did he not even pay attention to Hamilton and, like, know it's about politics at all? Like, I don't... It's, like, crazy. What a weird choice for him to 
Because you know that's like a public outing for him. Yeah. Like, you know that he's, like, going to the show because it's going to get press. Yeah. Like, what an idiot. Like, if you're going to go to a show, like, I don't know, go to, like... Dr. Phil or something. It's God. like crazy that they kidding. think that, you know, the founding fathers would probably not agree with a lot of what they're fucking doing. Ah, just fuck Pence, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck all of that. Also, I read today that, like, Melania and Baron, like, Baron, who, who Baron. named this kid? They're not moving into the White House, and it's like, what the fuck? Like, Why? Definitely not. I think that must be, like, one of the first... I don't know what history has been <laughs> for the White House, but, like, I feel like I've never heard of a first family not moving in. And they're saying it's because, like, she wants to stay in, like, their fucking, you know, building for their business. Yeah. And also, they don't want to, like, move his school district as if, like, Malia and fucking, what's her face, like, wanted to move their school district. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sasha and Malia. Because, like... They moved in, you know, and she's in fucking Harvard. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure they're good. It's also, all, I'm sure he's got, like, 16 though. golden jets that he could take <laughs> to fucking New York uh-huh. from D.C. It's not even that far. Yeah. I don't understand any of it. It's going to be just a lot of weirdness happening the whole time. The whole thing is, like, this is just... It's so un... Everything is unprofessional and not at all respectable. And it's, it's not just presidential. A fucking, yeah, it's not presidential. It's just a hot mess. And yeah. how does this continue? Like, he tweeted, you know, SNL was on yesterday, and I'm sure they did a bunch of Trump shit. Yeah. And he's, like, still, he's still fucking on his phone complaining about it, being, like, they are biased against me. And it's, like, this is what's happening. You are the political figure that everyone is looking at right now. Of course they are going to do satire at your expense. Like, that's what happens in a free country where people usually see comedy and other, like, media. Yeah. To talk about things that they're not okay with. That's free speech. It's like they don't give a fuck Obama's about been any portrayed other amendment. Many times, like on SNL, he's yeah. How many times did Jay Farrow talk about Obama? And like, let's be honest, they were probably a lot nicer to Obama because he hasn't had hey, any like ridiculous scandals. It's fucking free speech. Trump's a fucking flop. Like he's asking to be the butt of any joke. Like, yeah. are you kidding me? It's just, you know, like, fucking Hillary Clinton gave a speech the other day, and it was, like, she wasn't wearing any makeup in it, and people are, like, being awful about it, you know, saying that, like, no wonder she didn't win, she looks like she's sick, you know, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, he has to wear makeup, like, every (laughs) fucking day. It's just a guy. It's so wild mess. that he's our oldest president, like elected within their first term. Yeah, I know. That's. It was honestly shocking to hear that. Cause, well, I didn't know how old Trump was, and yeah, I just I assumed think they could it, be under that. I just assumed that other presidents had probably been older, but I don't know. I just picture like this, like clam underneath this like human costume <laughs> that's making all of these decisions, like this, like. Job of the Hut, slimy ass clam. It's just like evil. <laughs> and also, if you don't think Mike Pence is definitely one eighth lizard, you're wrong. Like he's, he's definitely the Kenema. Like he's Yo, so totally. He's like that fucking old guy in Teen Wolf that coughs up black blood. Yeah, and like is just genuinely evil. Yeah, that is him. <laughs> that is actually him confirmed. Mike Pence is literally any like evil old man that's in like any TV show. You any know, any dystopian talking about. movie, any like sci fi. He's like. President Snow, he's like fucking uh, well, the guy from Lost. Yeah, the guy from Lost, <laughs> you know Charles what? Whitmore. Yeah, you fucking know. You know it's that. Right. What any character that that man plays is Mike Pence in real life. Like, yeah, you know? same with like that guy that's on Scandal that was Mitchum Huntsberger. He's Trump. Oh he, yeah. So whenever they do like the Trump movie, I can't wait for Scandal to come back. Cause yo, I know. I wonder if like I know. Kerry Washington was pregnant, and that's why, like, they waited to start doing it in the spring, but, like, that's, like, yeah, it's gonna be cool, because, like, they can, like, change it up for whatever has happened. Yeah, I wonder what they'll do. I forget how it ended last season, honestly. I have to, like, rewatch, because it's been too long. Yeah. Also, The Affair comes back today, which I, that's one of those shows that, like, really surprised me with how much I liked it. It's definitely really different than anything I've seen on TV. It is really good. It's, like, it just sucks you in, bitch. Yeah. Also, it's really pretty. Speaking of shows, Downton Abbey is now one of my top shows of all time. It's I'm risen so to that level. It's on my she Mad Men, Gilmore Girls level. Really? Because, yeah. Like, it is so good. There's, like, 
there's characters I don't like because they're of assholes, course. but like I like all the characters, like how I like they're good villains. I like Umbridge because she's a good fucking villain in Harry Potter, but like I don't like her. Yeah, it, there's can be villains that are just like stupid, and I don't like them. Because like Chris was never into period movies or dramas, and I was always super into that, and I would watch them, and you were like eh about them. Yeah. So I watched Downton Abbey like. I don't remember when it started, but I was, like, probably, like, my first or second year of college, and I binge-watched, like, maybe the first three and a half seasons. Something happens, and then I got mad. Yeah. <laughs> you probably know who I'm talking about if you're listening to this and you've seen it. Um, and so I haven't caught up, but, like, I just never thought that that would be something you wanted to watch, but I was like, it's got such good drama. It's, like... It's so pretty, and the music is fantastic. Oh, and yeah, it's beautiful. All the acting is yeah, great. Yeah, all the acting is really good. Every character has so much, like, depth, and, oh, my God, it's just a really good show, and what, it's six seasons, I think, in total? Yeah, it's six seasons. Yeah. I, I find that I recommend. like a lot of things now where I don't really know the actors and actresses mm-hmm. that are in them. Like, I only know Maggie Smith. Yeah. That's it. And I knew uh, Michelle Dockery, and that's it. Okay, yeah. I don't know any of the other people mm-hmm. from this. But yeah, they all have, like, tons of Emmys. <laughs> Take a hint, JK. Like, we don't want fucking Johnny Depp popping up because also, I see him as Johnny Depp. Not... I'm just confused. Like, isn't Grindelwald supposed to be younger in this timeline than Johnny Depp's old fart ass? <laughs> I'm not gonna... Like, I'm not 100% sure, but I'd assume so. Just I just pictured on... someone, like, in the same age category as, like, I don't know, like, Ben Affleck's age. Yeah. Like, a little bit younger than Johnny Depp, but not, like, Chris Pratt young. Yeah, I get you. I don't even know how old Chris Pratt is or fucking ben I'm gonna Affleck. have to say late 20s, early 30s. I was gonna say, like, mid-30s okay. is what I'm picturing. What's Johnny Depp? He's gotta be, like... 50. Oh, Johnny Depp, yeah, he's definitely probably pushing 50. And, like, what kind of accent does Grinewald have? Is he a British guy? Like, is Again, he a British wizard? Again, I'm not wizard? entirely sure. Because Johnny Depp's got that weird, like, Madonna-esque fucking accent where he's like, oh, I've been to France many times, so I've got this weird, like, half-European, half-American, half-asshole vibe to my yeah, accent. Yeah, I get you. So I'm, like, confused. As, I, I wonder, like, Him, what Madonna, and Lindsay mean. Lohan can make a club about yeah. this. Like, <laughs> Are they okay, honestly? <laughs> Oh, oh man. man, that's fucked up. And so, oh, I also wanted to bring up something wild. But why is Tila Tequila a Nazi? Now? I was just gonna say that. Like, She's that's actually point. like on Twitter. It's actually really disgusting. I fucking muted her so I wouldn't have to see it. But like, she, you know, is like hailing Hitler and like the putting fuck? her arm out and like posting those like awful caricatures of Jews that are really fucking anti-Semitic and like just saying awful things and it's like this is not the bisexual icon we need in this community. Why the fuck is she doing this? So um I don't know can we find anyone else but one of the girls from Fifth Harmony actually came out and she's Cuban and bisexual and she wrote this like awesome ass letter to Trump Oh wow! and it's just great. So I think like we're gonna replace Tila Tequila with her okay? I forget her name because I, I don't like know a, a lot of Fifth Harmony stuff but that's exciting and she's the one with the really amazing brows <laughs> mm-hmm. so yeah well i guess now we can do some name stat things oh yeah let me which pull that uh i'll put the link in the description of this episode if you guys want to take it but uh i've pulled up my statistics here oh, and shit, so you read yours yeah this has just different things about like when they're born and death and where they live and stuff like that so it says, did you know that most Christopher are born on a Thursday and die on a Thursday? <laughs> and that, moreover, most people with the surname of Hubbard are born on a Sunday and die on a Friday. Um, so <laughs> do you know what day you were born? Like, I'd have to look at the fucking calendar. I think it's Saturday. How do I search my actual name? Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, this would be a search bar. I got it. Um, then it says, most Christopher are born in the month of February and die in May. The majority of people with that. the last name Hubbard are born in August and die in January. So, none of that matches me so far. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. You're um, unique. How old is Christopher Hubbard? The average Christopher Hubbard in the United States is 30 years old. That's pretty close um, Yeah. You're 25. Almost. Net worth. Uh, <laughs> considering all of the presented facts and stats, the estimated average net worth is $126,000, which uh, yeah, I'm not... I'm not there yet. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, okay, let's see. I had to scroll. How many Christopher Hubbard are there in the U.S.? There are 162. Damn, I was like, there's thousands. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but like you could meet in like, I don't know, Central Park and I could just have people over for brunch. Oh my god. There is about 900,000 people with the name Christopher and then about 58,000 people with the last name Hubbard. Oh, uh, Okay. Uh, so Hubbard is the 435th most popular surname in the U.S. Wait, Christopher or... Hubbard. Oh, Hubbard. Yeah. I was going to say Christopher's definitely more popular than that, right? Uh, most Christopher Hubbard live in the state of Texas. <laughs> and uh, so it's 6.7 in Texas, then it's New York, and then Virginia after that. And if you don't like people named Christopher Hubbard, you should probably live in Nevada, because 0.1% <laughs> live there. I'm fucking moving there, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, do All you right, have so your facts? I got, like, um, most people with the last name Whitehurst are born on a Sunday and die on a Sunday. Honestly, love that. <laughs> um, and there's 19 of us in America, which is Fantastic. Lit. Um, most Rachel Whitehurst live in the state of Washington, D.C. That's interesting. That is really weird. Um, How many Rachel Whitehurst are there? Does it 19. Say? 19, So, like, yeah. there's a few there. Like, that's lit. Um, <laughs> if you don't like people with the name Rachel Whitehurst, you should probably move to North Dakota. Okay? We can all go there. <laughs> um, and shit. Oh, that's really weird. It says, like, the popularity of my name. And it's, like... Pretty much the East Coast is a really popular okay. Rachel area, and like pretty much all of the West is not. So <laughs> is that an East Coast name? I don't know. And it says most Rachel are born in the month of March and die in January. So that's pretty close. Yeah. So I'm born in February. Okay, I guess know? that's a little bit more close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, those are just some fun stuff. There's more stats in there. We're not going to go through all oh, of them. Oh, it says, like, the persons called Rachel Whitehurst are usually of average health. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And the life expectancy is 74. Oh, my God. Shit. What's your life expectancy? Uh, 63.6. <laughs> um, okay. Well. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's dark. Um, Yeah. Oh my god, the life expectancy of a person named Christopher is 55. Yeah, my name got really popular between 1990 and 2000. That's because of Friends, bitch. Like, that's oh, that's absolutely... totally... I don't know why yours is, because you're probably just Mine like... was 1990 and 2000. Yeah. It was the second most common name in 1995. Oh my god, it tells you like how many there are with your name on different social media accounts. That's a new thing since we did this before. Like, like it says before. there's like three on Twitter... Two of those are probably mine, actually. Yeah. Because I've made, like, two accounts. There's, like, 11 on Facebook or whatever. But there's, like, two people with Snapchat. Like, that's... Who's the other? Oh, my God. There's only one on YouTube. That's me! Ah! <laughs> that's so weird. Um, yeah. So, uh, just saying. Yeah, there's... And the, and the how old am I? The average Rachel is 27. So oh, shit. That's pretty close. Well, my stats weren't as... <laughs> You know, exciting, happy. <laughs> it's because you're a Chris, and like, if you were popular between 1990 and 2000, it better not have been. Well, no, Gilmore Girls is too old or too young for that, you know. But I'm yeah. like Christopher from Gilmore Girls better not have done that for you. There were so many Christophers in like my classes. Like, Christopher Robin, yeah, that poo ass bitch. <laughs> True, that's probably part of it. Honestly, did you really have a lot? Well, Christopher isn't that biblical? Because that's like Christ. Well, yeah, I mean, it does have, like, if you want the fucking, like, old ass meaning of my name, it has something to do with Christ. And yeah. mine's female lamb. So I love that. Love it. <laughs> Bye, you know. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm glad you guys heard that about us. Yes. The last thing that I wanted to bring up before getting into the question time is that I was just thinking about it the other day. Uh, it was a really weird thought, but I was thinking, I wonder how much money I've left in a take a penny, leave a penny thing. I, like, like feel like I've never done that because I've never had change. <laughs> I've definitely, I don't do it, like, now, really, because I always just use a card. I but feel like, like they're already not even in stores. I, I, I remember the last time, like, it was a couple of days ago, actually, I actually had cash on me, and at the store that's real close to our apartment, like, they, I used cash, and I didn't want to, I had one penny left, and I didn't want to fucking take it, so I just left it in the thing they had. Okay. So I was just, like, thinking about, like, what are other random stats that I would, like, if there was, like, a stats page for my life, 
<laughs> what is like random things that I would want to know, and I asked on my Instagram too what you guys would want to. Ooh. Yeah, it's. I would love to know how many orgasms I've had, <laughs> and like how many different toilets I've sat on, like in all around the world, restaurants, yeah. stores, everything, people's houses. How many toilets has she seen? That's. Random Home Depots where I like sit on the <laughs> fucking standing toilet. Yeah. Oh man, it's so weird. I want to know how many pimples I've had. Uh, God, that would be a good. Thing how many to headaches have I had? Yes, because honestly, there's something wrong. <laughs> there has. Also, to be. obviously, how many cups of coffee have I had? That would be a good one. Yeah. How many times? How many pounds of lipstick I've eaten or lip product? How many? Like, I don't know what you would measure, but, like, how much <laughs> makeup product have you inhaled? Like, powders? Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. Honestly, though, am I going to die? <laughs> like, I've tweeted about this, but, like, I know there's talc in some of these things. Mm-hmm. Am I okay? <laughs> am I all right? How much water have I drank? I don't care about that one. This I much. mean, it'd probably be a lot. You know, I want to know why I'm dry. <laughs> <laughs> how many times... I have a lot of questions. <laughs> how many times has Squeezy licked me? <laughs> How many times have I cried? Oh my god, wait, no. How many gallons of tears have I expelled, bitch? I bet it's like the ocean. I'm not sure which one, but it's one of them. Oh my god. Yeah, but mostly how many orgasms. Like, how many times I've had sex in general, probably. And like, toilets. That's like... Or beds. Like, how many... How many total hours have I slept? Maybe. You know how they say, like... Sometimes you eat spiders in your Fuck sleep. That. How many you've eaten? I dead ass have not. I'm. I definitely don't think I've ever eaten a spider. I really want to feel like that's, that's something totally that's fake. fake. Yeah. Hey Siri. <laughs> <laughs> How many spiders have I eaten? Oh, shut up, bitch. Honestly, <laughs> I, I feel like I read somewhere that it was a myth. An old wives' tale. <laughs> How many pickles have I eaten? Ooh, good one. <laughs> Like, there's just many questions. How many eyelashes I've shed? <laughs> I have a um, lot of questions. How long in total has my hair grown? You know what I mean? Like, like how, if you hadn't cut it, if, but like, yeah. just from the scalp. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I'm going to read some of the other people's too. Um, how many hours I've slept? Yeah. That'd be cool. How many times my cat has sat her asshole on my pillow? Also, I've never seen her do it, but I have a creeping suspicion. <laughs> I've seen Lila do it. Oh, Lila's, she puts her ass in, her, her, in our faces. So I, I know, she needs to chill, <laughs> but I love it. How many cups of coffee? How much pizza I've eaten? Mm. I wonder how much dairy have you eaten <laughs> now that like, and you're then dead? And my body. <laughs> uh, how much schoolwork I've ever done? How many times I've said, fuck. <laughs> How many times I've made others genuinely smile. Oh, that's nice. I've seen a lot of people saying, like, how many other people's photos have you been in the background of? Ew! Yeah. Ew! I don't like that. That would be really fascinating. I just remember, like, reading this weird story online about this, like, this couple that... Yeah. They're married for, like, a million years, and then they looked at one of their, like, childhood photos, and they realized that they had been at Disney World at the same time, and he was, like, in the background of their photo as a kid. Yeah. And that shit, like, creeps me out. Shook me. Yeah. There's always, like, that... I don't know if it's a myth or a truth, but, like, you meet... The person you're going to spend the rest of your life with, like, several times, but you might not even... Until you meet them, like, you might walk near them, see them, like... Oh, my God. That's wild. in the same vicinity or something. Like, us. Were we ever... I mean, we were only, like, an hour or two apart. Like, there's definitely a chance that, like, we could have been in the same place at the same time. How many times do you think you... Like, where would we... What were our, like, areas that we would have possibly met each other? Like, the Jersey Shore, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? I've probably met a lot of people at the Jersey Shore. That's something I would like to know. You know when you're like a kid and you're at the beach and you just like talk to the other kid that whole day that you just yeah, see? Yeah, your friend for the where day. Where are they now? Like we were we were picking up sand crabs or whatever. <laughs> where are you? Like, it's weird. Oh, uh, fuck. How many words I've spoken? How much time I've spent on the toilet? Oh. <laughs> How much time I've spent sitting in traffic? Ooh. Ooh, God, I don't know if I want to know I don't know, know if I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many cats I've given pets to? <laughs> oh. How many times I've tripped on nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Squeezy. 
Um, I've had dogs my whole life and looked at other people's dogs. I often wonder how many dog poops I've picked up in my life and how rich I'd be if I had a dollar for each. Also, <laughs> how many times have I compelled a dog to shit by looking Look, at Oh, them? my God. I literally yeah, it's have. your power. I have a power, I've realized, because we were, we were in the car with Mallory and Ashley, and I looked out the window, and Ashley had already been looking at the dog, and he was just doing his thing, and then I turn, and he immediately shits. <laughs> <laughs> what? Am I? Honestly, yeah. I am a That's human a laxative. <laughs> but, oh, you know, fuck. it's fine because we all have our talents in life. Uh, yeah, so that's what I've seen. How on. many dogs have I compelled to shit? That's what I want to know. That's the best. You're like a vampire. Or so. how many, like, individual people have I spoken to? Wild. And would you even count, like, social media exchange as well? You know what I mean? Like, how many individual people have I spoken to? How many keys on a keyboard have I pressed? Like, how many times have I pressed a key? Ooh. <laughs> Definitely <crazy>, something. crazy, Chris. <laughs> Wild. Um, how many hours have I spent playing games when I could be learning a skill? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know that. Yeah, me neither. Um, yeah, so yeah. that's pretty cool. How many math problems have I actually solved? <laughs> Three. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my god, Chris, the other night we were doing like, he was just quizzing me with like math problems and I was like, not doing it. <laughs> I just wanted to test myself and it yeah. was, you know, it was something else. <laughs> well, I guess now we can go into question time. Yeah, I guess. So uh, we're just going to take a quick break for our sponsor and then we'll be right back. Today's sponsor is our lovely friends over at Adam and Eve. So if you guys are, you know, thinking about Black Friday, wondering what you might get and what sweet deals you might get on that day, well, we suggest that you go on over to Adam and Eve. They have a great selection of just different sex toys and different, you know, additions that you can bring into your sex life. They have sponsored many an orgasm for many other benches, and they have a really great selection and overall we definitely highly recommend them. Uh, if you go to adamandeve.com, you'll get a limited time offer, though, of 50% off of just about any item. So if you're looking for those hot Black Friday deals, they've definitely got them there. But that's not the only thing that you will get. So you'll get that 50% off of just about any item, but then you'll also get three free adult DVDs, a free mystery gift, and free shipping. And so that's just a lot of free things that you get on top of that. So again, that's... off one item, then you get three DVDs, a free mystery gift, and free shipping. And so how do you get this deal? You just go to adamandeve.com, pick out your stuff, and then you use code CWC at checkout. Again, that's code CWC at adamandeve.com. Okay, so you guys know the drill. We're going to do the Patreon questions first. That's patreon.com slash coffee with Rachel if you want to learn how to be a bench and get your questions answered first round. But the first question is from Tori, who says, Hi, Rachel and Chris. Lately, I've been considering smoking weed to see if it helps me with some of my depression and anxiety. My boyfriend, though, has a really negative view on marijuana due to only ever having bad experiences in the past. I've tried explaining the viewpoint that is completely natural, safe, and used all the time for mental and even physical illnesses, but still doesn't completely accept that. He wants to support me in whatever I decide, but I'm worried about it still being a hostile environment if I did start smoking. I know you guys smoke, and I was wondering if you could hopefully have some advice on my situation. I mean, yeah, because it does, it's, some people I've been friends with, like, have had terrible reactions to it, and then they just don't want to, which I totally understand. Like, yeah. I think you just have to keep reiterating the standpoint that it's not gonna be like it's gonna be a different experience for everyone and like you're you're trying to see if it works for you and like i'm assuming that you would stop if you were experiencing like a bad you know situation you know because that would turn anyone off so and you're not going into it like somebody goes into like drinking a beer like it's not that way you're like this is you need to reiterate that this is going to be like your medicine like you're not taking this just to like have a fun time or anything it's it can be medicine and so that's just kind of like 
the way you have to keep reiterating, I think. Yeah, like, if he wouldn't judge you for getting on an anxiety medication and taking a pill, then, yeah. This is, like, an all-natural... Yeah. It's literally, like, a treat. Not that I'm, like, here (laughs) recommending it, by the way, like... Yeah, no, but... I tried this all on my own, and it works for me. I don't think it's gonna work for everyone. I also do not endorse it. It's, like, honestly a waste of money in many ways so like i'm not endorsing it at all do not get that impression from me but if you're like already like interested yourself then like just be safe about it and you know if you aren't experiencing like worsened symptoms then like don't do it you know yeah that's with any medication that you try though you know you want to keep talking to your doctor and your therapist or if you don't have one you know yeah i would definitely talk to your doctor at least if you don't have a therapist but yeah uh, next question is from Jennifer, who said, Hi, guys. Both of you have inspired me to go vegan and have taught me that eating vegan isn't a sad story. Everyone says it is. I love the Hopper Food Vegan blog and yes. YouTube channel. If you needed ideas for vegan Thanksgiving, you should check it out. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed. Yeah. I probably watched all of their videos, like, in the last three days. Are they, like, relatively new? Or... Uh, they just... I guess, maybe. Or are they just, like, exploding in popularity right now? Like... I don't know, but... It was enough that I could watch their whole channel. <laughs> I don't know. I was also really dedicated. Tell you, those fucking scones that we have, I'm still oh. eating those. Did we talk about those yet? I, I don't, don't know. know. We just made some pumpkin scones and they were lit. Yeah. Were First really time good. using a flax egg. Yeah. Which was so interesting. Simple. Yeah. They say that you can use that in like pretty much all baking. So we're going to use. Except for like, you know, something really delicate. Yeah. Like I probably wouldn't use a flax egg in like a macaroon. Yeah. As exactly. A, in, in replacement of an egg white. I don't know how you make. I don't think it's possible to make a vegan macaroon. Yeah. Probably not. There's really like airy shit like that. It's you like really... technical as fuck. And yeah. like some English ass or some French person <laughs> figured Definitely out has, yeah. that meringue could do this. Like, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. there's no. I don't think you can replicate that. Unless there are vegan egg whites that are exact, I don't know. I'm not mm. trying to make macaroons anytime soon, anyway, because they're, they're just com- yeah, they're really complicated. Even but though if we have gets the oven married, for it, I'll make them. <laughs> like, it's fine. But anyway, yeah, we've just been doing our. Oh my god, I'm so excited because I guess we're gonna go grocery shopping either tomorrow or like Tuesday for Thanksgiving stuff. Yes, and it's gonna be 100% vegetarian, which is exciting. Yeah, the only thing not vegan about it is the challah bread. So I'm honestly like in my head like it's mostly vegan dishes. So I'm like feeling really good about it. And like yeah, honestly, every dish is vegan except for anything that's got the any, bread the stuffing. In it. Yeah, is literally it. Um, so I'm excited. Very yeah. excited. We have nice spread. It's literally it's gonna, gonna be, be very us too. interesting. <laughs> My first Thanksgiving without having, like, the meat dish. Because my family was weird. We had fucking ham. Ugh. Yeah, you remember that? Like, ham is the worst. It's I like know. And then we good. had fucking turkey on Christmas. Like, yeah, the worst way to have pork, honestly, <laughs> is a fucking roast ham. Like, I, I don't really miss meat right now at all. But, like, the only time... You never wanted that even when you were having No, not, no like, one wants a dry fucking baby pink piece of shit. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Pineapple little rings on it. Like, turkey's nice, but, like, also, I feel like I always am... Okay, I'm a very paranoid person in all aspects. <laughs> and I think the one thing about not eating meat that's great is that I don't have to constantly worry about bones. Because let me tell you, like, I had, I've had this fear of, like choking on a bone i've definitely like had small bones and <laughs> things that i've had before so it really like bugs me yeah and now i'm glad that i don't have to worry the worst i get is a pebble <laughs> <laughs> you know you have you a didn't wash your vegetables completely or something yeah, like i've had pebbles pop up in salads and i'm like i get it this is straight from the earth like yeah she's fine but what's that jason Mraz song like back to the earth oh, yeah. the pug, like? <laughs> that one's a little too like put down your devices for me like that whole <laughs> album is literally like stop playing on pokemon go or <laughs> um but yeah also you don't have to worry about just like it being cooked oh yeah i'm very like really annoying in the kitchen and like the whole contamination thing like chris okay honestly though you are not like okay <laughs> like some of the things chris thinks that he can do is really bad when there's raw meat involved like i don't i don't know man <laughs> well there's none here now so i know we it's don't great have to worry about i don't it. have to worry about it i just keep my kitchen clean and- i love just having to worry about the temperature and the taste and the texture. Oh, yeah. I like that nothing has to, like, cook through unless, like, it's, like, a cookie and it needs to do its thing. But even if it was raw on the inside, like, it was not going to be bad. Like. Yeah. Though I was a batter eater no matter what kind Yo, of yeah, I did situation. That too. I took a lot of risks these days. Now I don't have to worry about that, which is nice. <laughs> you could literally just make batter just to eat batter. Yeah. I mean, I mean, fuck. fuck. They used to sell those 
like at the store at school they had those the cookies that like you break off the squares and you just put them on sheets and then people would just eat those oh, yeah. things without making them because who why would they sell them literally none of us have a fucking oven in our oh, goddamn yeah, dorm room like, they would sell raw cookie dough as if we had any way to cook it so we were just eating it like between exams cause yeah was, like what else <laughs> It was that and like those Uncrustables. Oh man, how much oh, palm oil do you think is in the Uncrustable? <laughs> oh shit. I bet it's so much. Those now, Uncrustables were always frozen too. Yeah, it was like a, a frozen dessert. Yeah. And you, we would eat them if there was like nothing else available. Yep. Because like sometimes they'd be out of food and you'd be starving and all you had to do was eat like a couple of Uncrustables and some raw cookie dough. And that's college, essentially. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm alive. <laughs> Coffee and Uncrustables. It was like the worst time. I remember one of my roommates, she was like, let's go on the Yo Play diet. Like think about, these are oh. things I would never do now. Like that sounds horrible. <laughs> and it was just like replace every snack with a Yo Play yogurt. Not good. No. No wonder I had zits. Like I feel like there's probably a lot of sugar in a yo oh yogurt. God, yeah. I used to be addicted to the ones that were like really thick and they were like more of like a custard. So you, the ones that were in like those weird like little cylinders, you know what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah, I loved those things. They had like the regular consistency that was just like yogurt. Then there was the one that was like thick like pudding. Thick with two C's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then there was the whipped ones. I hate the whipped ones. The whipped ones are like, what are they doing? I hate the whipped anything because I'm like, why do you want this? There's just extra air added in it. I know. And then you like whipped it with your spoon and then it was just like half the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't get it. There's also like, I feel like there's like a whipped chocolate thing that Hershey does. <clears throat> I don't understand why. Like, I don't want. What do you mean a whipped chocolate? Like, I don't know. Like, it's like that. I hate chocolate flavored yogurt, honestly. Yeah. When no. I think about some of the yogurt flavors I used to dabble in, what was I doing? Honestly, me and yogurt, I had like. <laughs> I had the most, like, basic shit. Like, all I did was I had vanilla yogurt with uh, some sweet chocolate chips thrown in for, like, a Ew. crunch and also, like, a little bit of chocolate flavor. Not, like, milk chocolate chips, like, semi-sweet baking chips. Because That sounds terrible. I know. It's really stupid. Put like, granola in it, at least. That's what I ate as a snack a lot. Also, I had these, like... I used to eat the coffee-flavored yogurt. I didn't know they It didn't had that. taste like coffee, I'll tell you that much. It was like tangy. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know, but I would love it. I would like exclusively eat it because I thought I was like, I was like in first grade. I'm like, look at me. I'm having my coffee. <laughs> it was just this shitty yogurt. Oh, I used to do fuck. a lot of weird shit. <laughs> I so wish, like, okay, if you guys are ever wondering about my youth, <laughs> you probably weren't. <laughs> but I used to like take my dad's fucking video camera and I would like essentially vlog. And before I even started knew, from a young age, I thought my life was so pressing that I needed to record every moment of it. And I would literally just be like in my room, like talking about random things. And like, I would look out the window and I would talk about shit and I would like film my sister doing weird shit. And I would like, <laughs> exp- like, I would just, I probably had so many funny moments on camera and I so wish that I could like watch those tapes. I mean, they're probably all on VHS. Oh God. But like, it would be so funny if I could figure out a way to like get them on the internet. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Because I'm be sure they're, they've got some weird things. Because <laughs> I remember I would, like, take my dog outside, and I would just be walking around with him and, like, videoing it and, like, vlogging. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, what was I talking about? I want to know. <laughs> it's so weird. I just remember doing it. We went to Florida once, and I just remember me, like, in the window, like, zooming in on a palm tree and being like, wow. <laughs> what the I've fuck? never seen her before. Like, <laughs> is that, I remember, like, my first trip to Florida was like, oh my god, whoa, what are these skinny trees? Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I was, honestly, I was shocked when we went to VidCon and, like, I saw, like, the palm trees there. And I was just like, whoa, it's like a city, but there's palm trees everywhere. Yeah. It was wild. California is lit. There's a lot of, like, dust. There's a lot of those, like, trees that look, like, scraggly, like they're going to hit you, like a... You know what I mean? Uh, maybe. There's also, like... <laughs> Joshua tree. There was also, like, Whoever the... Joshua is, his trees <laughs> look like they'll punch you. <laughs> um, weren't we at, like, In-N-Out and, like, next... Like, in oh, the yard next to us, like... Tree. Yeah, a lemon tree. I was like, that's wild. I was like, wow, <laughs> fresh citrus here by this dumpster? <laughs> I'm Crazy. surprised you weren't like, wow, I want to move. <laughs> I, I like, honestly would love to grow lemons. That I'm would be, if sure. I was going to grow one thing, it would be lemons. Because, like, See, how that are, like, cucumbers, and then you make your own pickles. True. We used to grow cucumbers, but they were always, like, the big, fat cukes that are, yeah. like, watery as hell. I like the more crisp cuke. 
my mom grew zucchinis and like if you make zucchinis like they have they just like spread like crazy and you get a million of them and so we had like so much zucchini bread like zucchini in our stir fries like all the time all Ooh. tons of zucchini we never did stir fry that's something that i that was like, like eat every day <laughs> yeah that was a dish that we always had because like it was just like quick with like some white rice yeah it's a good time. I miss that. I'm just kidding. I was <laughs> you never had. We grew strawberries and like it was a bitch. <laughs> we had this like shitty fence and then you had to put like a mesh like layover thing to no, like, cover damn. it because we got bunnies. And oh those bunnies God. were like, ooh, strawberries. strawberries yum, yum. <laughs> yum. And they were running around. And honestly, the strawberries were never even that good. Yeah. Zucchinis were good. Yeah. Well, but, um... Good for you, bitch. <laughs> Let's do some Reddit questions, too. Yeah. Uh, tips for making breakfast healthy and delicious. Say hi to the chunks God, for me. God, I'm so bad at breakfast. Yeah, I mean, you're newly discovering breakfast again because you've removed the half and half, and now you have an Now I actually have a hunger. I used, I used to just skip it. Yeah. So... Now I just make a lot of avocado toast with, like, balsamic vinegar and radishes. I think that's a good thing for, like, a well-rounded, like, getting some healthy fats and some carb and Mm -hmm. uh, some vegetables. I do it, like, one half of avocado, but it's on two pieces of, like, sprouted wheat bread. So it's, like, a lot of carbs, like, a regular size amount of fat or whatever. I mean, that's probably, like, the fattiest thing I'll have all day if I'm eating, like, stir-fry for dinner I still think it's okay because it's, like, a healthy fat. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. And I'm still using oil to cook my vegetables. I'm not going to steam them. They're, like, people I see on YouTube, they, like, put water in a pan and they sizzle it. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I do, like, what, like... I don't measure it's a tiny, my olive oil. It's probably like it's a like, tablespoon. Like, and that's enough for like four servings. Like it's not that serious. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not afraid of a little a little bit of fat in my food. Yeah. I guess. But it, like I'm not having dairy or butter. Like. Exactly. Anything. I don't, I I don't think it's fucking use killing the you. Bean like, butter. I only use it in baking. Yeah. Because I don't use butter in like most of my dishes. No. Exactly. And like for my breakfast, like. I like to have peanut butter toast. Sometimes I'll put banana, like sliced up banana on it because I'm just, that's the flavor profile that I like more than your sweet breakfast. I'm a, I'm a vinegar. Yeah. But also I've been trying to get into oatmeal, like overnight oats because. I'm not an oatmeal bitch. I always make it like too tacky. Yeah. You know? That's why I like the overnight kind because it. It's going to basically come out the same way every time. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's turning out pretty well. i got to find some new recipes, but I always enjoy... Some flavor combos. Yeah, I enjoy oatmeal. You know, it's it's just like, it's there. It's basic, you know? (laughs) Just like everything else, I've enjoyed my yogurt with my fucking chips. (laughs) Like, I just have these soggy oats. Soggy. I mean, honestly, like, another good (laughs) breakfast is, like, leftovers. Yeah. (laughs) Which I do a lot. Just because I don't mind eating something savory as soon as I wake up. Yeah. So if that's going to be what I have, if I have, like, some leftover stir fry, I'll do that. Or if I have, like, some leftover quinoa and I feel like being extra, I might do, like, a little quinoa bowl that's, like, kind of, like, breakfast peppers type of vibe, you know? Yeah, you're really into that savory breakfast. Like, black beans and some peppers, a little salsa. I would have done a cracked egg, but now we don't have (laughs) eggs in the house. True. You know, I, that's the thing. Like, I really did like eggs. Like, there's people that just, like, put up with eggs. That's me. Honestly, I that's really me. I really liked a runny egg, so that's been that's kind me. of hard to get over. Because I know that, like, they are still not great for you. And yeah. I know that's, like, half the draw. You know what I mean? Because you know they're not good for you. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. that's why I always had my eggs scrambled. Because I was always... I was always afraid of them being raw when mm-hmm. they were runny. And so then I was starting to have yeah, some... Yeah, I definitely draw the line there. Like, I take <laughs> You take risk. risks. Because, like, a poached egg is, like, uh, <laughs> I really do like a poached egg. Or, like, a soft egg and ramen and stuff. Yeah, see, I, I'm not really missing the egg factor. Yeah. But in baking, I don't care. Because I'm not in it for the egg, mm-hmm. you know? Unless it needs it for some reason, I guess. Yeah, but now we got the flax one. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this question's for you, Rachel. Uh, when you got your nose pierced, was it ever red or irritated? I had mine done two months ago, and the whole time it's been a little bit raised and slightly red around the stud. Your piercing looks great now and really suits you. I want to get on this oh, level. Thanks. 
Oh my god, that's I don't even remember when I got this done. It's been in here. Honestly, like it's weird. I don't like it's just there, and it would be probably weird if you just didn't have it in. I know. Like, I feel like I'm always gonna leave it for. I want to be like one of those like older people that still has a nose ring, and you're like, it's a little too late for that, but like there's an edge now. <laughs> like, yeah. I feel like right now it's like fine. Like I look at you and like I forget that like I, I don't think actively like oh hey there's the nose ring. The only and then, time like, I think about it is when I put makeup on and then it like mattifies the yeah. ring, and I have to like wipe it off the foundation <laughs> it just like i would like be shocked if like there's people that like saw you and they'd be like oh hey there's a nose ring like they yeah pointed i wonder it out, if you know people I mean? are like that's a nose ring i know my parents were like that's a nose ring they were yeah. not happy about it even when i had the little stud because i knew my mom was like into the stud thing but as soon as i got the hoop they were like oh my god you're a fucking piece of trash <laughs> i was like listen it's more comfortable than a stud because mm-hmm. you don't have something like poking you when you're sleeping like literally that's why yeah um but yeah yeah, I kept mine really clean because I was really like that's the anxiety <laughs> annoying. And so they gave me when I went like oh, fuck. What is the kind of soap that they give you? It's like uh, the other, it's not Dove soap. It's the other brand of soap that everybody uses. Uh, oh, shit, no. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, they just gave me like the most basic ass soap. I think it begins with like an E. And you just wet that and you rinse it off or you could use like the saline kind of like salt water mix. Okay. But that's a little drying so I wouldn't recommend doing that all the time. I would also use some rubbing alcohol but I would try not to do that all the time. And I would take my nose ring out if you could because I know there's like a period of time that like you can't take it out. Yeah, you have to leave it in for a little bit. But then I would clean it like and now I like don't clean it. (laughs) <laughs> if she's there I've never had like the bump happen but I think it's just because like when it was healing I took really good care of it and now it's healed and it don't I don't have to worry about it yeah now I feel like even if you took it out like it would take a long time probably for oh your God. nose to like heal back up <laughs> I remember the one like probably like a, maybe two or three weeks after I got mine pierced I was washing my face and it like came out with like the towel yeah which ow And it closed up, like, before I could... Because it probably, like, fell on the floor. And it closed up before I could get it back in. Mm -hmm. And I was so pissed. And I had to go to the same place. And they did it for free. They just, like, re-pierced me and put it back in for me, which was really nice. But, like, (laughs) that was the worst. Because, like, now I could take it out and, like... Sometimes I'll take it out to, like, clean it or whatever. Yeah, sometimes it just falls out, like, so. Yeah. And then it's, like... And I know it's not going to close up. But my ears, weirdly, like... This is the second time I've had them, like, pierced. They closed up before, and then I had them re-pierced, like, later in college. Because yeah. I was like, I miss wearing earrings. And they will still close up, like, if I take earrings out, no Wild. matter how many. I got them pierced probably in, like, middle school, and they'll still close. Like, mm-hmm. it's so annoying. So I don't know how that is. But. Yeah. yeah. I have a no piercings, yeah. so. I don't think I'll ever have one either. I don't know. I don't think I'll get any more just because they're annoying to take care of. Like, Yeah, you have two in each ear and then you have your nose. Well, now I have like three total because yeah. the one closed up, which I'm fine. I like kind of having like a lopsided ear. <laughs> you're just a little bit weighted on the other side. Yeah. Like, your um, nose ring is on the side with the two, so, you know, you're just a little weighted that way. Yeah, I guess. I'm always leaning to the left. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I probably, there was nothing else I wanted to get done. Yeah. It, it, I always had kind of wanted, like, more earrings, but now I, like, know how much of a pain in the ass it is to take care of, like, an ear piercing, and also, like, having, like, extra things poking you on that side. Like, I only wear little baby hoops on my ears because they're easy to sleep in. That's, I, like, have hoops all over my body now. Yeah, like. Because, like, studs fucking are annoying. Yeah, like, the the reason why your nose one can fall out sometimes is because, like, it doesn't have, like, an end to it. It's just, like, a hook around. It's like a half you know? moon with, like, a little, like, stopper that, like, stops it from falling out. Yeah. I love that kind. Everybody always asks me where I got it, and I think, oh, well, this is the one. You got it from... It was, like, a kiosk in the mall, but then also Hot Topic has the ones that I like yeah. on their website because I yeah. ordered more when I accidentally lost this one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah random time to ever be in hot topic in like five years <laughs> oh my god yeah and i was like this is this is weird and like it went from like you would go into hot topic and there would be like some like burly ass dude with a ton of like face piercings and like he would be the do- guy that runs you up and now it's just like some person wearing like a tardis t-shirt yeah <laughs> like what <laughs> like what happened <laughs> they went from like I don't know what, they, like, I guess, like, punk, edgy. Like, they went from, like, that to, like... Like, goth punk, Fandom. Edgy. Yeah. Things. 
I feel that. Which, like, yeah. I guess that shit sells, honestly. Come on. Duh. Because there's not scene kids anymore. Honestly, the scene kids turned into the fandom geeks. Let's be honest. That's what happened. <laughs> the scene kids, they went into, like, uh, we're going to buy a shit ton of merch for well, other like... stuff. Because they used to buy band merch. Now it's like. Yeah. Other... Isn't the uh, scene trend now, like, going on in the UK? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is happening in England, but, like, there's kids now getting, like, coontails for the first time, and I'm like. What's this going is on? A mess. <laughs> like, if we have a resurgence in scene kids and coon tales, I will literally be so excited. Because <laughs> that would imagine how fun that would be. Oh my god! <laughs> like what we're like now? It's so weird. I'm seeing like 15 year olds wearing like the the lace choker that I wore in like elementary school in the 90s. You know what yeah. I mean? And like those like plastic chokers came back and like just. Literally stuff from like two decades ago. So honestly, the scene resurgence it's is gonna happen. Way. Yeah. Either that, or we're gonna repeat like the awful. Um, remember, like everyone wore like a crop jacket that like fell right beneath their boobs. It's a like, crap the, jacket. The crap jacket is like I think they were called like a shrug because okay. they're like yeah. small and like everyone was wearing like metallic everything. I feel like that's I really gonna don't come back. Feel like the early two thousand styles are gonna come back because they no were thing. honestly very weird. They but were we're doing the nineties right now, and it's like spaghetti strap dresses over little t shirts, and you're like, holy shit! I can't believe people are wearing that again. I I don't know. I just feel like, and it looks cute. I'm like sitting here being like, why does this look cute again though? Like early Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears like weird ass styles. Like I don't. I just don't know. I mean, they could come back. The but... belt for no reason around yeah. your waist, cinching yeah. nothing. <laughs> like just the little page boy hat or whatever. Uh, the newspaper uh, yeah, hat or whatever. Yep. Interesting times. F- fedoras, honestly. Those, oh my god, those sunglasses that were like just barely tinted. Mm-hmm. And I had them and I felt like I was a goddamn like goddess. I was wearing like shimmery gold lip gloss and then I had like gold sunglasses that tinted like into a bronze lens and they like didn't block out anything. And yeah. I had like a butterfly clip and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Glitter, like body. Oh my god. I wonder if like, all right, so we've already done highlighting to its like most extreme capacity. I think we hit that when we did the full face using highlighters only. Yes. So now, are we going to bring back roll-on glitter? Because we're just like straight up in glitter zone. We're yeah. exceeding highlight and going into straight up glitter. We're already doing like body highlighting now with like everything. It's too much. I think the aliens have seen us now. I think we can revert. <laughs> I don't know. I would love for like Bath and Body Works to release like blue oh, yeah. body glitter again. They had like this one blue one that smelled like raspberries and it was great in <laughs> sixth grade when I was wearing a pink sparkly poncho. Just bring back the Ooh, lip smackers and back. Can we bring back, like, the Coles poncho, please? <laughs> and, like, Ugg boots when you had to buy the knockoff because you weren't able to Barefoot get the Barefoot or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, like, like Bear Claw. Or bear like, Claw, something I don't, like that. I don't know. They, I had pink ones from DSW. That's the most suburban sentence I've said. <laughs> And, like, remember going to DSW? A great time. I've never gone to DSW until I started dating you. It's because we had that one, like, right by my house. Yeah. It was great, though. I got, I like, my rain boots fuck. there. <laughs> oh, okay. I yeah. would go to Payless for, like... Then I went to Kohl's. Stage shit. I always needed, like, shoes for, like, yeah. musicals and crap. I was Payless until I started just getting entire wardrobe head to toe from Kohl's, like, when they had the Tony Hawk line. And yeah. so I had his stupid skater shoes. And oh my god, those shoes that were like wide and thick. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. Interesting time. I had K Swiss sneakers. Oh my god. For a time there, wow. and I thought I was really cool, <laughs> and I probably looked like a fucking idiot. Also, when my mom bought me apple bottom jeans because she didn't know what the implications were, and I wore them to school, being innocent as fuck, and that squeeze me shirt. Yeah. I was honestly a little like. I was like a thirsty little seventh, <laughs> seventh, seventh grader. Like, who was she? <laughs> like, if you think about it, I probably de- didn't exceed dress codes. In schools, but whatever. All right. Well, I guess we should go into bench time. All right. Yeah. So it's been a good episode, guys. I had a lot of fun. You know, if you guys have any other like stats you want to track about your life or whatever, you know, you could leave a comment on our Reddit or coffeewithrachel.net. Leave a little thingy. 
Yeah, that too. Um, I'm trying to think of where else, but like we have comments Twitter. on Spre- or not Spreaker, SoundCloud. Well, Spreaker does too, but Spreaky. Spreaker. I call it Spreaky. Spreaky. <laughs> no one knows what the hell. Spreaky it is. cauldron. Oh my god. <laughs> Spreaky blinders. <laughs> Okay, well, oh, fuck. well, we'll see you guys later. Get your Clinko. Oh, yeah, oh, shit. Fuck face. All right, bye. Bye. All right, Binchos, we are doing it up front, off the top of the notch. We spent a lot of time getting the uh, gift exchange ready this week, so we did not have a lot of time for the old listo. I think everybody likes it when we're more random anyway. Okay, <clears throat> let's go in with Nicole Dowling. Who's down on Main Street. <laughs> what? Sammy <laughs> Jessam is um, um, Sammy. Looking forward to Jess in the Gilmore Girls revival. Aren't we all? Yes. Kayla Harding is... It's a hard knock life for Kayla. And you know what? That sucks. <laughs> Alicia Schreiner is going to build another shrine to... Alicia Keys. Okay. Bailey Lynn is, is lending a hand to someone in need. Okay. Jackie Goldfarb is uh, buying some nice gold tinsel for their house. I can't wait to get Christmas decorations. Yes. Sloan Nolan is Noel, no. Noel Buddy's friend. <laughs> That's so horrible, Sloan, over your friend. Sarah Booth is uh, watching Phone Booth for the first time, being very stressed That's about it. That's such a tense ass movie. It is. Allison Sense is sensing disruptions with the chunks today. <laughs> Hunter Curtis is curtsying to you. <laughs> well, thank you, my dear. Uh, Megan Rackley is racking up bells in Animal Crossing. Kate Convery is... Uh, On a conveyor belt at the airport. For fun. Taylor Collins, Collins is, is calling my bluff. Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, em- put that in your Twitter bio. <laughs> <laughs> Emma Corbeil is uh, rounding the corner on their way to Nordstrom. Nice. <laughs> Heather Ann is answering my questions, and I have a bun. <laughs> Sloan Fuller is uh, making their shopping cart full of Thanksgiving Cranberry ingredients. sauce. <laughs> Angelica Feliz is is saying please to somebody who prefers whole cranberries to that smooth gelatinous can. <laughs> Joni Dugan is, is jonesing for a Jones soda. <laughs> oh my god, too much. Too much, too much. Okay, Juanita Cara is wanting a, a new car. Uh, wow. Annie, Na- or Annie Wynn is uh, watching the classic Annie. <laughs> Nice. Danielle Manus is the... dancing on Main Street. <laughs> you were really on Main Street today. Yeah. Uh, Cassandra Lee is... Is leaving on a jet plane. I don't know. I'm feeling like a very musical binge time. You are always on a musical binge time. That's really true. Emma Nigren is... Um, Waiting for the night to be over so they can have a fresh cup of coffee in the morning. Courtney Hall is a Hallmark kind of binge. I feel that. (laughs) Becca Jansen is beckoning to their cat, but they just won't come over. (laughs) Isn't that always? (laughs) Angela Sue is soon to be um, getting some gifts. (laughs) Aren't we all? Michelle North is headed north because they're visiting friends in Canada. Aaron Bray is... What if they live in Canada? Well, then other Canada. <laughs> what if they live in the the most northern Canada? Well, then, you know... You fucked up. I fucked up. Got it. <laughs> okay, Aaron Bray is... Brave it, enough... To, to eat those jelly beans that are fucked up. Oh my god, <laughs> you know birdie bots. Jade Agoshi is a going to the mountains for the holidays because, duh, it's nice there. My Elizabeth, my oh my, no, I'm just kidding. Um, Ow, swacked <laughs> my not so funny bone. <laughs> my Elizabeth is at least my, my, oh my. My Elizabeth is going to Lisbon. I know that's a city name somewhere. I can't tell you which country it's in, but I know Lisbon's a place. Ishbel Mendez is thinking Jingle Bell Rock couldn't come on any sooner. Talia Miller is milling about the Christmas tree shops. Nice. Cat Vallejos is 
hosting oh. a beautiful event. Soiree. <laughs> yeah. We watched too much down today. <laughs> Margarita is um, marching mar- to the beat of their own drum. I was literally just going to say that. I, <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Every label sin is labeling all of their prepared meals for the week. Nice. Daisy Blossom Dottie is using a dotting tool to do their nails. <laughs> Emily Lewis is losing their mind over this election. Same. <laughs> Chloe Archer is closing, closing time. time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Anthony Hood is... um, has been hoodwinked. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but shit. you've been hoodwinked. Mariah <laughs> Hannah is handing over their Mariah Carey Christmas CD to a friend. Yo, good job. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Elizabeth Holbrook is Bro- Brooklyn, New York. You're visiting. <laughs> good call. <laughs> Jennifer Habgood um, has had a good time this evening. <laughs> Madison Greer is, is greetings from Earth. You're an alien and you're coming. <laughs> Madison Wolf is going to Madison, Wisconsin. You always do this. I do, because I know it's a place and I just think it's fun. Megan McNally is begging for some begging strips. Oh my god, please, you're I hate those commercials. Dog. Also, don't feed your dogs that. Um, please don't. Skylar Medley is meddling with. Is those meddling kids on, or those, yeah, meddling kids on Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Yeah. That's you. Megan Preyus is praying for all of the United States right now during this rough time. We are. Corey Springfield is... Got a spring in their step because they found a crunchy leaf. (laughs) I love them. Ilka is... Is uh, ill because there has been a cold going around in their area and that sucks. Oh no, the Spanish flu. Downton Abbey. <laughs> oh my god, stop this. Jax. Jax is taking an axe to, to a their... tree for Christmas, doing it the rustic way. Oh yeah. Interesting. Nicole Allen is uh, still obsessed with Ted Allen. and Still? You mean, like, duh, who would it be? Yeah. God. I- exactly. That does not I meant, no, I meant no shame. Oh my god, you said shame instead of shade. Courtney White <laughs> is uh, having a hard time finding Christmas lights with a white cord. Yo, me, honestly. <laughs> Bridget Carey Davis is carrying a lot of guilt over some things. Aren't we all? <laughs> Jennifer Cornwell is uh, in well, a this field corn. of corn. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of speaking of corn, tzatziki I was, sauce. Tzatziki. <laughs> I was like at work. I was watching clips of this show called Erie, Indiana, oh, or God. Erie, Illinois, one of the two. And like, it's just like a weird kind of like X Files kind of show. And there was like one episode where it was these kids were investigating this thing called the Loyal Order of the Corn, and it was these men that were dressed up in corn outfits and like worshiping corn. And I was like, this is the thing for me. Oh. I need to be within the loyal order of the corn. You probably, like, are the Voldemort of that, (laughs) and you just don't know it within yourself yet. I should join. You're like Tom Riddle right now, but (laughs) you gotta become the (laughs) Valdecorn. Oh, fuck. Okay, Sophia Cock. Is Sophia so, Vergara in every commercial I've seen this year? I feel year. like Chris is very bitter about it for no reason. <laughs> I'm just making a comment because I see her on the Nest Cafe and whatever. The Coke, f- Coke or Pepsi, I don't know which one it is. Or both, probably. Definitely CoverGirl. Everything, you know? But it's hey, because go she's so beautiful. I yeah. mean, God. Ash Roselle. Um, Ash is, is Rose. Z after pretending to be Ash Catch and playing Pokemon Go outside. Yeah. Okay. Jackie Burkhart is Burke leaving <laughs> <Christina> <laughs> at the altar. Oh my god. Don't do it. Um, Beth Fonseca is saying, can I have a second, please? Ooh. Jackie Brigiulio is 
uh, Christina, being the bride, left at the altar by Burke. <laughs> nice reach. <laughs> Christina Contreras is Christina leaving the country, actually, later in the season. Okay, so <laughs> what uh, like, Grey's, Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> we could do that. I mean, that is definitely uh, We fucking... should do a Grey's Anatomy one. That would be... There's like 17 seasons. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Catherine Simpson is simply over Christmas music, and it hasn't even begun. <laughs> Marlene Naj is... Uh, leaning against a pile of cans in the grocery store and sending it all over the floor. Whoa. Ian Murphy is Ian Sommerhalder slowly losing how to act as Damon. (laughs) It's so true. Um, Rebecca O'Donnell is Beckoning. Beckham. Bend it like Beckham. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Um, Kendall Berg is... um, Getting a dull Kendall, a dull finish on a piece of wood. Okay. I thought you were going to say dull whip. I was going to say that's a stretch. A <laughs> dull whip? <laughs> Allie McGregor is. Um, McDonald's. <laughs> Megan Grilly is, is grilling up some veggies for a fajita bar. Mm. Chloe Killip is. Uh, Closing the door and opening a new one. <laughs> Taco Roach is ooh Roach. What's something with Roach? Is talking about roaches and how they're infesting their house. I don't even <laughs> infesting. know infesting, infesting, infiltrating, <laughs> whatever. Sandra Buckout is out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> Haley Cadwalder is. Uh, hanging some new paintings on their wall. Camellia Malky is having a meal at the mall. Key. <laughs> Maddie Pullman is mad that they can't find a good Christmas tree at Target. Amanda Murray is manning the ship at dawn. <laughs> Allison Francoy is. Uh, Alice in Wonderland at, like, Disney. Okay. <laughs> at, like, Disney. <laughs> at, like... Kate, so, Caitlin Whalen is a uh, whale watching there on a boat tour. Whoa, nice. Cody Robinson is robbing... Robin Hood. Okay. Shooting some arrows. Nice. Lauren Siobhan is... Look, we've been saying Lauren corrected us and we still fuck up. It's oh my Lauren, god. Lauren Chavone. Oh my god. She did you remember, she told us this and then I she, know, we fucked I, up. It's just like it, once you get it, okay, Lauren Chavone is, is owning is owning as a bench and honestly deserves our fucking respect. <laughs> Sarah Seaman is seeing eye to eye with the uh, interior designer. <laughs> Dana Daly is doing a daily yoga morning routine. Yeah. Megan Wilson is uh willing to speak to Ian Murphy. Gotcha. <laughs> Not many people are. So <laughs> Claire would decline though. <laughs> we should do one dimension list that's just dragging Ian. <laughs> like, <laughs> the whole list. I love this joke. Kelly Adams is adding, adding up, up the number of times we've made jokes about Ian. <laughs> that should be one of his stats, honestly. Okay. Anna Hernandez is desperate to find someone selling the Dyson hair dryer for cheaper. Oh my god. <laughs> Aren't we all? Jenna Gordonier is... Is nearing, nearing the end of Gord season and is quite upset. <laughs> what are we going to do? I know. Sasha Smith is smiling because they just had a great cup of coffee. Me. Sarah is staring at a painting at a museum that's beautiful and wonderful. (laughs) Flynn and Drew drew that beautiful painting at the museum. (laughs) Wow, they drew it. Um, They drew paint. I love that. Yes. Bridget Dubin is Bridges... Is playing Bridge. Somewhere among the stars. (laughs) (laughs) Hillary Gay... Is game for any card game, including bridge. Yo, it's bridge even a card game? I thought it was like shuffleboard. I thought bridge was a card game. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> Mackenzie Knight is actually gonna have a Ken's dressing on their salad. Interesting choice. 
And Rachel Evans is eventually going to, you know... Use Ken's instead of Wishbone. Wishbone? <laughs> Newman's old. <laughs> Newman's old. <laughs> okay, the other... You can tell I make my own dressing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The other beach bonches got some new beach bonches. We got Ashley Reifenberger, I believe. Yes. We got what? Mallory, just straight up Mallory. Sylvia Erlichman Gross. Stephanie Oliver. Allie Malone. Kathleen Wynn. Rose Barnett. So thanks, Boopos. For supporting the show. Hopefully, if any of you guys signed up for the gift exchange, you were excited to yes. participate because it's going to be fun. I saw a lot of you guys already like have your shit picked out and you're fucking oh. pumped. And so we are very excited as well. All right. So we love you guys and we will see you for see you. Thanksgiving. Oh my God. Yeah. We're going to have a Thanksgiving episode on your Thanksgiving. So if you're with your annoying ass family, you have something to listen to and tune out, bitch. Yeah. Also, it just happens to be Thursday. It works out. Like. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. That was a HeadGum Podcast. <laughs>